Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel guys team number two for freeze is here And man, I have to say today looks like a crazy day on FIFA We were just looking at it on stream and we're gonna do obviously <clears throat> a recap for you guys on YouTube because There are some things as well that will impact the market today So we're gonna go through we're gonna talk about that But first we're gonna look at some of the objectives some of the stuff like that um, And I want to say to you guys man Merry Christmas to you guys happy holidays I said this on my stream today. If you guys are spending time with your family or your friends, you guys are lucky, man, right? Appreciate it. Take the time to tell them you love them, whoever it is, because not everybody this holidays is getting to see their family. There's a lot of restrictions going around right now in the world because of the rising amounts of cases, things like that. I can't believe we're still talking about this, but it sucks. We got to stay together on this, guys. It's going to be better. I promise, man. Just keep going. You guys got this. Anyways, freeze number two is here, away from life advice mentoring, and we're going to take a look at some of this stuff today. So... Obviously, if you guys enjoyed the video today, a thumbs up is very appreciated. Guys, we completed uh, our weekly objective this morning of um, Volin center back. We got it done, which is great. And now there's even another objective, so we'll take a look at that in a second. But first, we have a war, guys, and we're going to be posting a review on the second channel today with this card. But look, I'm all for this card selection. Guys, this card is actually 10,000 coins cheaper than Kenny Lala's SBC. And when you talk about the card that is so usable, so linkable, and just so good for FIFA in terms of squad building and things like that, man, this is one of those cards that I'm talking about, man. This is a great card that EA brought out today. I'm very happy with this. 87 pace, 88 dribbling, 88 shooting, 85 passing, and 76 physical. High medium work rates and four-star, four-star work rates, guys. Just a very, very nice-looking card overall. Very, very nice-looking card. 92 attack positioning, 89 finishing, 86 shot power, 88 long shots, 86 agility, 87 balance, 84 reactions, 89 ball control, 89 dribbling. Crazy looking card. Also has finesse shot trait. Other than that, we didn't get too much. Uh, we didn't get all that much other than that, guys. We got another foot freeze challenge, I believe, today. I can't tell you exactly which one because I don't do the challenges. Icon SPCs are still in the mud. But if we take a look at it, guys, we did actually get another objective, which is really cool because, man, objectives are better than playing weekend league this year. I'm telling you, man. All right, look at this. For perspective. I'm just going to tell you guys this, man, for perspective. Look, this guy, you need to play 12 games and win six. Volin, you needed to play eight games and win five or six, I think, right? This is crazy, man, right? This guy has high, high work rates, La Liga center mid, 89 attack positioning, 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 82 agility, 88 balance, 83 interceptions, 94 stamina, 87 strength, and 87 aggression, right? This card looks crazy. 86 pace, you could swap him in game as a center back. You could play him as a box-to-box -box center mid with, uh, you know, a Conte or a Valverde, and he's got 86 pace. It's a very nice card. Volin is a, is a decent center back as well. 82 pace, 84 defending, 87 physical. And it's like, dude, these two cards, right, compared to what everybody's grinding and sweating foot champs for, just make the change, man. I mean, like, look, look, unless EA makes the change, you guys got to make the change, man. If you're sweating foot champs and you're like, this, this is shit, it's crazy. These two cards together, theoretically, are costing you to play less than 20 games. You're not, you don't have to play 30 games. I mean, it's nuts when you look at the comparison of these two cards compared to what is available, um, you know, via the Foot Champs Awards. So I just want to point that out because the objectives this year are just out of this world. And we got another crazy one today. And I don't think I'm overhyping it. I think it's really, really, really good. Um, other than that, though, guys, we got some new cards on the market today. And it is crazy to see Alan St. Maximin, guys has been extinct he's actually still extinct at 1.3 million so st max is extinct guys 1.3 mil people are paying for him i don't know how much more he's going to sell than 1.3 mil we'll take a look at him on flipping from our good friends their website is amazing check out flipping guys please um dembele though dembele is the big boy as well that we got today guys we got an usman dembele um and uh he looks crazy right he looks crazy high medium work rates five star five star it's a five star five star player that a lot of people wanted big upgrade and so the leaks were true but the nice surprise was today is that we didn't know who the SBC was or if we were going to get an objective and we actually got those two things as well so that was nice that those were delivered um as well but 84 attack positioning 91 shot power 83 long shots 94 acceleration 89 agility um 84 ball control just a crazy looking card although 1.7 mil is crazy and this is this is bound to happen because of a Tuesday release where like there's no way that that card is going to be super cheap today because of the actual supply um, that he's going to get. We got a Chiellini with a white shirt dynamic image. Very, very interesting looking. But again, medium high work rates, 80 pace, 88 defending. And Chiellini actually has really good agility, really good reaction. So in my opinion, when I take a look at this card at 92 composure, this guy looks usable, right? This version of Chiellini in my eyes looks very, very usable. 87 strength, 
92 defensive awareness. So this card looks really good as well. I was just taking a look at him because I think it's actually a really nice situation right now that you have a link um, to Ronaldo. It's a nice Ronaldo link that is available. Um, we also got, I think Alex Moreno is another one uh, who's the uh, La Liga right back. But the cool part about this card is I feel like this guy um, is definitely like usable, right? And this fills the void that we were talking about last night where we don't really have a great La Liga right back right now. Well, Alex Moreno is one of those guys that I think really brings something to the table now with 92 agility, 89 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 86 balance, 81 ball control. There's some really nice stats to like with this Alex Moreno, 99 stamina, 82 defensive awareness, 87 stand tackling. So I'm liking a lot what I see from that card. And then last, we actually have Ghostins. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this guy, um, this guy has some nuts in games, right? For a, a German center back, 83 pace, 83 defending, 84 physical, medium high work rates, 88 reactions, 83 ball control, 82 dribbling. Um, pretty mental looking car when you consider that he's six feet tall with medium high and he's got 96 jumping and 90 stamina. It's just crazy to see. So yeah, these cards came onto the game today. I did want to say that I want to take a look with you guys today on flipping at Allen St. Maximin real quick because that is obviously a big boy card that's coming out to this game. So he's extinct. He's 115 on Xbox. Um, he did not get the five-star five-star that he had last year, but however, he has 85 attack positioning, 80 finishing, 91 shot power, 94 stamina. So he does have some really, really nice stats here today. Um, and this Allen St. Maximin, is a card that I definitely want to test out and that we will test out. So second channel, we'll have a review for him. I don't know. I'm assuming these cards are also available in foot draft. Um, but this same Maximin, it's very interesting to see him extinct at 1-3. I don't know how much people want to pay for him. Maybe 1-5, but I don't know how much more he goes than that, considering his foot birthday was never like, I don't think his foot birthday was ever that much more than 1-2. I think the difference is that his foot birthday was a right mid, and now we've got a striker, St. Maximin. So that could be a little bit of a difference that you could identify there. But take a look at the icon index. The icons are going down right now, man. And, and this makes sense for me because I would say that people would probably most likely want to try out these new cards. There's a lot of team selling going on. There's a lot of cards that are down right now. I do think that we will see a little bit of a rebound later today. Um, I think it will happen because yesterday the market did really well. So I think this market does have coins. I just think right now people are pretty interested in trying out some of these new cards and kind of seeing how they do. But, you know, if you haven't been able to invest in the team of the week, this might be a pretty good time. Vardy is down a bit. Bomba's down a bit. Um, if you think that these guys are going to rise out of packs, even Kunde's down a bit. We have some players right now that are definitely down um, out of packs right now. And if we take a look at the Footpin Popular page, uh, I also zoomed it in. Some of you guys were saying that you wanted more zoomed in, and, and I totally understand that feedback. So I zoomed in a bit. Um, we have some other cards down, right? Some meta golds are definitely down today. But a nice little rebound with this Mbappe. This Mbappe was 999. Uh, now he was 950 earlier. So a nice little rebound with that Mbappe. That is for sure. We're seeing a rebound on the market with him, which is definitely good to see. It's healthy for the market. That is a very good sign that we, we do have a rebound um, currently going on. Uh, obviously with Mbappe. That's good to see. It's a very good sign for the market, guys. But yeah, even Road to the Finals, man. We have Varane Road to the Finals. He's down 150K today, right? Some big price drops. Xbox Road to the Final Varane is 950K. So some very, very big price drops here today, man. Um, and this is due to people buying and selling and, and, and mixing out teams, guys, in my opinion, right? People are trying out these new cards. And there's a real reason to, right? When you take a look at this, I mean, this guy's 110, you know, something like that, 110K, right? This card is really, really nice looking. German center back, linkable in the Serie A, some nice pace, some nice defending, some nice physicals. That that car has a very nice groove to it. I like the way it looks, right? I think it's a solid card. Um, other than that, for me today, I've just been trading some prime icons and I'll probably start to look at these freeze cards. I feel like maybe tonight they might be decent, but again, you're not going to catch your boy trading with freeze Dembele guys at 1.6 mil. I just think it's too many coins. I won't be trying this today. I'm not doing any crazy trading today. We talked about it today on stream. I have lost like almost 20 million coins this year. I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful, guys. What I am really interested to see, and you guys know, my little joke of, of trading is that I always want to see if my camp styles go up. I'm very interested to see if all these Canvas Center forwards that I bought at the beginning of the year finally go up because of the striker or war, if people are going to move them uh, in-game to a center mid. But at the moment, it's not looking too good. There's still 200 coins, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, at the moment, it's not looking it's not looking insane, boys. It's not looking ultra-promising. And uh, there we go, guys. I think we just got kicked off of EA servers for checking out uh, what was going on there. But yeah, that's about it for the content today, guys. Nothing crazy. So Freeze Team 2 is here. I feel like we made the video the other day talking about how the player selection was pretty poor. 
And I really thought that there was an improvement today. I think that ORR for 120K is a bargain. I think it's a really good looking card. And I think when you scale it to a Lamer or a Kenny Lala, I mean, yeah, EA is still releasing cards that are all 100 to 200K and it's a lot. But at the same time, this is a card that is really good, right? And these are this is a card that's very usable, very linkable, and so many of these types of variables, guys, that is coming into FIFA. So I, I like it. I think it's a decent idea from EA today. I'd like to see this continue. We got to string a couple good days together of these cards coming out. Now, buy times with these new cards. If you guys can wait a little bit, I would. Again, Dembele, St. Max, I mean, these guys, in my opinion, are way too overpriced at the current prices. So if you guys could wait a little, I would. I think it's in your best interest. That's going to be my video for today, guys. Freeze Team 2 review. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.